and Gemma. Welcome to the Create Studio channel for our Creating at Home series where we create things out of recycled materials that you typically have at home. This month, the month of April, we are featuring metal. So the projects that we're going to be offering the inspirations for or the tips or the starters for are all based on metal materials. This week's material that we're going to feature is tin cans. Tin cans are amazing because they actually, as can many metals, be melted down and reused again and again and again without ever having to stop. So endless numbers of times. But in the meantime, it's great to use them or reuse them for a purpose that serves your family needs. And I think tin cans are great as paintbrush holders or a place to put money when you want to set aside for a special item, or you could even have it catch all the buttons in that you find in the dryer or beads or different things that come out of pockets, change. They're just great for catching all kinds of things. They're tidy, they're compact, they're great in a cabinet, they're great on a counter, they're so much fun. So this week, we're just taking a look at how you can use some pages from a magazine to just cover a can quickly and then it's a cute item to have at home. So I have a tin can full of chopsticks and I incidentally learned that the um, the gradation surface, it's not gradation, the, what do I want to say? Well the bumpy surface, the rigid surface is to give the tin can strength which I didn't realize but I think that's pretty neat. So I have a couple different things I took out of magazines. I have cactus and I have macaroons. So I'm just gonna take one as a quick sample for you. You're gonna to wanna to have some tape handy. Um, you can also use a glue stick or hot glue. So you'll take your page, since I want the macaroons, they will be sideways. I'm gonna take my tin can and hold it up to the picture I'm going to use. I can now, since this has this straight edge on it, that can be the top of my can. And I'm going to want to measure it so that this can is sticky. So that it's just going to go right under this lip. And then the bottom, I'm just going to mark with a pencil so I know where I want to trim it. It's going to be hard to mark it in front of you here standing up, but we'll give it a try. So I know it's above that yellow macaroon. Once you have a little marking, I like to actually fold the paper for the length that you're doing because that even gives it just a straighter line than if you're eyeballing the little mark that you made. And then you can see if it's a magazine page, which is another great material to reuse. You always have great pictures in them. So then I know that this is going to be a straight edge to cut. And my other edge, I see where I marked it right there. So I'm going to just use my magazine page to mark that. I'm going to line up this edge and then just go across and line up on this edge. So if they're lined up on both sides, I know I've got a straight line. Then I cut them. And small kids' small toys can be kept in them. They're, they're somewhat indestructible. Uh, most can openers, when you're opening um, a can, you know, like a soup can or a tomato can or whatever the can is, it'll often have this little metal piece left over. So you can use a, a set of pliers or a hammer, something to press that back down so that doesn't hurt anybody. And some can openers do remove the whole lip um, so you don't have that point, that sharp issue to worry about. But that is something you want to pay attention to in your can use. Um, and you know what? They also make great vases. If you want to give a neighbor some flowers, pop them in a can, cover the can with a cute piece of paper, and it's such a nice little gift. So this happens to be perfect. The length of a magazine goes around so nicely. So somehow I got a little short on my one end. So um, my measurement didn't work the way I planned, but I'm just putting a little tape on the back side. And now I have a macaroon can to go with my to mush, uh, vegetable can and my 
camera can. Hope you like this idea and try it at home. I think it's such a great um, item to use. You can even store toothbrushes in it. They just work great for everything. Hope you like this idea and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.